Hi, I'm Chad from Frontier Egg and Turf, the Hastings location. Here to show you how to change your X700 series John Deere tractor from the snow equipment to the mower deck for your summer use. Okay, the first step in removing your snow thrower from your X700 series tractor would be to be sure that the snow thrower is set completely on the ground in a safe position. I have the parking brake on so that I'm able to start the tractor from the side and I'll do that now. I'll move the lever forward to lower the snow thrower to the ground which I just did. <clears throat> I'll turn it off. From here I'll move forward to the front of the snow thrower, the yellow to the quick hitch. There's some uh, quick knobs here that you would move out by hand. There's detents. They pull out, lock in place. There's one on each side. The next step would be to remove the, the front drive shaft. You would reach in with the engine off to the rear of the coupler, pull the locking tab back, and the drive shaft slides right off. There's a hanger that it would hang on for storage. After that's performed, I'll start the tractor to lower the quick hitch so it will remove from the snow thrower. At this point, I'll remove the two hoses that rotate our chute, which in this case are yellow and silver. Once the tractor is shut off, you have to move your lever to the forward and the reverse to remove the pressure that has built up on the valve so that you can disconnect the, connect the hoses. Apply the dust caps. Remove the hoses from the holders. Place the hoses for storage. At this point, our snow thrower is completely disconnected from the quick hitch. So I will mount the tractor at this point and back up slightly. Now that that's been removed, now, now it's time to remove the quick hitch. Again, we've turned the tractor off. We've moved the lever forward and reverse to remove the hydraulic pressure from the lines. We will then remove the black and the green fittings. Remove them from the holder. Store the hoses. Two quick hitch uh, pins, the same as they were on the front. Pull out, lock into place. And at this point, I just hold the top portion and the lower lift and take them, comes right off. At this time, there's one other shaft that has to be removed for the PTO, and that's on the lower side. It'd be the same as the front. You disconnect the collar, it'll slide forward, connects to the stub shaft that runs through the front axle. You slides forward, comes down off the rear, you slide it to the rear and it comes right off. Now we're going to go over how to install your mower deck on an X700 series John Deere tractor. 
first thing you would do is remove the quick pins back to their locked position so that your caster wheels, all four of caster wheels are loose so that the mower deck is sitting completely on the ground. In a four wheel drive version, this works great on a flat surface, say concrete, driveway, garage floor. On a two wheel drive version, it's best to do it on more of a rough surface, maybe in your yard itself or on an area that has more grip than concrete does. At this point, when this is placed down, everything is sitting solidly on the ground. Your drive shaft is stored in its holder out of the way of the tractor. The rear catch has a locking mechanism. Be sure that's free. At this point, you line up the tractor with the drive over sections. Until the front of the, until the rear of this of the mower deck attaches to the rear hanger, you'll feel that moving the deck forward. Your next step is to connect the front yoke to the front of the tractor. You lift the front yoke up. The cam will attach to the front portion of the lawn tractor. Pull back the cam on the left side. Lift it up, and it snaps into a hole. At this point, we'll start the tractor, raise the mower deck so we can set the height of the scalp wheels compared to the height of cut. To set your height of cut, you first would start the tractor with your parking brake installed, lift back on, on the upper lever, which will raise your mower deck height completely high. You select your height of cut by turning this black knob with the white pointer to, to the corresponding number that you wish to cut at. At that point, I have it set at 3 for reference. At that point, then I would push the lever forward. The mower deck would drop and hang on the stop. To set your scalp wheels on your mower deck, you make sure you're at your desired height of cut. Your lever is pushed forward. Your deck is set on the stop. You're on a level flat surface, parking brake installed. Lift your scalp wheel by hand with the, with the lock open. What I use is a finger width from the ground or a quarter of an inch. So I move this down, let the wheel sit on my finger, drop the lock, lift it ever so slightly that will lock into place, hold your wheel up off the ground. So now when you're mowing the lawn, if you were to drop into a hole or say a dip, your mower deck will slightly come down with the wheel. The wheel will catch the ground and hold it up so you have an anti-scalp mower deck. At this point, you reach underneath the tractor where the drive shaft has been stored. You lift slightly, swing it around to the rear lift up the yoke slide it rearward onto the PTO shaft this concludes how to switch your X700 series John Deere tractor from your snow equipment to your lawn equipment for summer use thank you from Frontier Egg and Turf